ahead and done the refresh phase. Uh, everyone's got their uh, CP back and change priorities. The leader um, is the first person. Uh, the medic is the second person. The sergeant is the third. Shock is fourth. Analyst is fifth. The analyst is the only one on reserve action, which means I draw an agent movement card. Oh, I forgot to roll these. Um, it would be basically four yellow dice. It goes up one number, so I'm on the five. These are cleared. That agent movement card is not going to reveal itself. If there are no op four in line of sight of the mercs, then move the closest red or blue disc into line of sight. There are op four. So don't have to worry about it. Blue agent disc moves two area towards orange, so he's gonna stay there still. Blue, he's gonna stay there still. So now we deal with the red. Red agents move two areas towards white. This is the only one, so it's gonna go here and here. And that's it. If secure level two or higher than black agent disc, there are no black agent discs. And then the security level penalty is all event deck reveals happen at the next highest security level. Well, there's not going to be any reveals, thank goodness. So, uh, you know, a very good card for me um, in this particular situation. Uh, nothing gets revealed. Um, op 4 phase, security forces first. Security level 1 have two movements. One, two. One, two, which is unfortunate because now this technician cannot move through and escape, which means he's going to go through this way. Lucky. He's going to come through, one, highest priority, two, where he will eat analyst attack. Analyst attack at one red and one yellow. Reserve action is super important in, in the game in general, but hopefully you can see uh, properly orchestrated reserve action can absolutely save you. That would be one damage. He has two hit points, no armor, no armor from here, so he's dead. Nice job. Analyst. Worker goes. Gone. The scientist goes, I'm sorry. Technician not being able to move through here. He's going to move two and end up there. He's going to go the long way around. Uh, now it is Merck's phase. Just got to be careful because uh, I got ammo issues all over the place. Well, not all over the place, but with my two main guys. This goes away. And uh, let's go slowly. Security level three. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. These guys are going to be gone. So if I'm aggressive right now, if I breach and clear in here, it might be good. Uh, leaving just this blue. Uh, I don't really know. That breach and clear could be tough, though. So the leader is going to spend three CP to reload. And an additional CP for here. I think the leader is going to be done at this point. The second person is the medic. The medic's going to go ahead and interact for 3 CP. 1, 2, 3. This is where the analyst probably should, I probably should have done those differently, but uh, that was an expensive interact. But now I've interacted with the open terminal. No KIA or employee, KIA or excessive force tokens. I'm also going to spend another CP to move here. Actually, I may not. I'm going to wait and do a combined action. I'm sure of it. Because the next up is the sergeant. And the sergeant has one attack, and he's going to have range one, two, three. Um, so I'll do a combined action uh, attack and move. Two mercs, three CP. The sergeant will spend th two CP. The uh, medic will spend one. And this is where having that... So the medic will get to move three movement points. So one two, 
three. Gets me in a better position. And he's going to fire here with one red, three yellows, and a black. One, two, three, four. Uh, they get armor. I can't do enough damage to the disc to take it further, which is why these attacks are so nice at this point. Um, one, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and kill him. He gets his one armor, but only has two hit points. Uh, he will get his armor check. He does not, so he will take a damage. And now the sergeant will reload for three CP. Uh, the shock trooper. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with the shock trooper. Let me think. So I'm left with the conundrum. I'm pretty sure my sergeant's going to be able to take care of him pretty easy. What am I going to do with him? If I get him here and set him up on a reserve action, if any one of these guys comes out, I have attacks on him if he goes on orange, which is very much a. But he's also out of place if I want to breach. Because the reality is, if this guy comes out and I can take care of him and take care of him, if I breach and clear this, it's over because these guys are gone. It's a big, it's a, it's a, probably the most important decision of the game so far. Just had a white. Oh, what's going to happen? Is he going to come out? If he comes out. That's it. You know what? I think he's going to go back, which means the shock troopers are going to go one, two, three, four. Going to hustle. And then go on uh, spray and pray. Which leaves the analyst, who's going to go one, two, and go reserve action. So I have a reserve action on orange and a reserve action on orange. I'm really unsure about this particular movement. We'll see how it goes. All right, I've uh, adjusted uh, everyone's CP and priority. The leader and the medic are tied. Um, so I'm going to have the medic go first. Might as well. And the leader goes second. Um, the sergeant is a solid third, and then bringing up the rear in the same order was the shock trooper and the analyst. So I have two people at eight, one on seven, one on four, one on three. Agent movement. This could be not good. If there are any red agent discs within two areas of a merc, they move into line of sight. One, two, one, two. There are not. Whew. Close. <laughs> um, blue agent disc move two areas towards orange boom still orange still orange red agent discs move two areas towards white so that would be here and then here uh, and then black agent disc there are none and then if it's secure level two or higher it is one black agent disc appears in three adjacent offices at the building edge so uh, we've been waiting on this one right if you know how to play the game that you knew this was going to happen. Uh, you know these are going to turn into bad, and so I have majority of my people over here, so I'll probably put them here. Because if I structure myself right, I can take care of everything right here, as opposed to letting them kind of go crazy. I cannot believe this guy didn't come out. So those reserve actions don't do anything for me. Up four phase. Move one, move two and fire. He rolls two yellows. Twice. Be one success. Here's my armor failure check. Or my armor roll, sorry. Tabletop. No damage. And one and no. So he doesn't take any damage. And that, uh, the technician is going to move. Six. Three, four, five, six. It's going to go out the way it came, now that it's open. Trying to get rid of this bright spot right here. Uh, and while doing that, I remember, 
I saw that I didn't had, didn't roll that, so this is for security increase during the refresh phase. That goes up one. So now we're on six. Mm. He attacked. Uh, so let's start with the medic. The medic is first. I can set up here and go for a breach and clear. Bring my sergeant over. So my medic, who is first, is going to do a attack and move with my sergeant. Allow my sergeant to be freed up a bit. Medic being the move. Uh, two CP for the medic. One, two, three. Is I think it's that's the last one. Go three, correct? And the other one gets to do a sweeping attack. Those are the kinds of things when you're playing with multiple people. You can remember. Uh, one, two. He already has taken a damage. He has no armor, so he is dead. And a collateral damage disc is placed here. That would be the third collateral damage disc, so we're going to immediately move it up to four. Maybe we don't have to roll. In fact, I don't even know if I had to roll before, but it's not going to change that too much. These guys, now the security level 4, I mean, they're definitely going to be big baddies. And you know what? He'll go ahead and spend one movement point to go on a reserve action. Spray and pray on orange. Uh, now it's my leader's turn. My leader's going to move back one and go on a reserve action selective. You say, well, why in the world's going on? What's going on over here? One, if I'm here, he can't come out. So I've locked down one of them. Uh, if he becomes the highest priority, which he's going to be the highest priority when these guys pop out, uh, one, they're going to be in reserve action. That they're going to be under um, a reserve action from the medic, who has a range of two. Reserve action. I'm going to move the sergeant over here. I don't think I can get there in time to do a reserve action. And he'll probably stay here, maybe. Uh, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with my shock trooper quite yet. Uh, anyway, I'm looking for a mass killing on this side. Let the technician go. So my sergeant's turn. He's gonna go one, two, three. <sighs> the shock trooper. Assuming he's gonna come out, he's gonna go in reserve action. The shock trooper is going to go one, two and go on a selective reserve action on white. So I have reserve action white, reserve action white, reserve action orange. And this is going to do a cover, duck and cover, between two mercs, two CPs, they each spend one CP, that would be the sergeant and the analyst. The ducking merc would be the sergeant is reducing by three. And the covering mark increases his counter by one. Let's go one, two. And two CP on reserve action on orange. So this is what I got. At the end of all things, these guys on a reserve action orange. Still waiting for this guy to come out. He can't come out. He can't come out. He's going to come out, and these guys are both on reserve action for him. All right, I've already increased the security level from last time. I've uh, raised everyone's uh, CP, changed their priority. Uh, highest priority is the medic, followed by the leader, followed by the sergeant, followed by the analyst, ending with the shock trooper. It's not, uh, that was not a very good round for me. I didn't do a lot. 
uh, this movement ended up not being helpful because he hasn't come out yet. Uh, just in general, not so good. All right. If it is secure level two or higher, it is. All blue agents move towards the nearest stairs. Ding. He will be revealed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, he's gonna come this way. Uh, blue agent disc moves one on white. They already did. Red agent disc moves two areas towards orange. So uh, blank and burst. Secure level one or higher, then black agent disc moves the closest red agent disc and converts it. Boom, they can't come out. He stops. If secure level two or higher, then all employees double their move value. Well, that's nice. <sighs> it is secure level four. Hey, two sec four threes, which is why they are in reserve action. They come out. And this is one security first four under a reserve action. So, not so bad. Let's start with these guys. All right, that's four yellows, two blacks. I need a good roll here. Or modest roll. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. They have four hit points and one armor, so um, I'll be this one. Doesn't really matter. One armor. They shield, so he only takes one blood. Not the best ever. Now the analyst comes in. Dun, 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 dun. One red, one yellow. Now I really need a good roll. One, two. This is one armor. Takes two damage for a total of three, but he's not dead, and that's not good. Now, the Shuriken Force 4 here. The leader is reserve actions first. That would be six yellow dice. One, two, three, four. They have two armor. They're meaty. No defense, uh, so he takes four damage, and he's still not dead. So he's had his four damage, but I have not given him any armor. There's another reason why uh, selective actions, they are more expensive, but then you don't have to deal with armor. He already has two armor. If I'm dealing with three armor, it's that much harder to kill him. Fortunately for me, the shock trooper here, even on a selective, has Flechette ammo with his six and his... One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, six damage. He can't possibly soak that much, so he's going to be killed. Um, but I did have a collateral damage, so that's going to happen. I gotta be careful because this could go south pretty fast with. Uh, giving me armor plus uh, providing them armor. Now they are going to attack uh, based off of priority. Uh, sec 4-3 will move to the highest armored area to attack if possible. Uh, the highest uh, would be the medic. Would be him. So here. So uh, my Sec 4 attack is going to be 3 and 1. Um, collateral damage dies. Uh, shields are added in the defense roll, so uh, collateral targets. There will be 2 dice added. So we had 1, 2, 3 successes. Um, 1, 2, 
three or one, two, three, four dice. Uh, shields apply damage to uh, the sec four three before the mark because the sec four three is the lowest ranking uh, in the area. He's just in the way, unfortunately, for him. Uh, he receives two damage. Uh, my medic uh, did not soak enough, so we'll receive one damage. And uh, collateral damage disc here. And then the second attack. One, two. He needs to add another one. One, two uh, will be applied to uh, the security force here, who is dead. His own guy lit him up. And that's all of them. He gets double movement. One, two, one, two. He's gone. Which leaves me with f four agents and a sec four, three. On my turn.